Eric, hi. Um, how important is it to get this point, to get you over the line, to get into the Champions League? Yeah. If you make that question, you already have your answer. Or? But I, in, t in terms of the kind of the, the targets that you set yourself at the start of the season and, and what um, that achievement uh, would... would but it's, it's clear. Um, we want to win every game. And that is what we do all season. So tomorrow um, we want to do the same. Eh? We want to win the game and play dominant football and get the job done. In terms of in terms of your squad, and you won't tell us what you're doing for next season. But people made a connection between Anthony Martial and the fact that the striking position is not sorted at Manchester United. It doesn't seem to have worked this season. Also, his reaction to going off, the lack of goals, the lack of fitness, and feel that he is someone that you probably might look to get rid of in the summer. Is that a no. fair assessment? No. If you are not available, you can't score. And when he was available, um, we play better. And this, so this team is winning games. Um, uh, he's also scoring goals then. So, but he has to be available. David, just a point needed for Champions League qualification. Uh, are you about where you thought you would be at this stage or are you ahead of the schedule that the owners perhaps set you when you became manager? Uh, yeah. First, we have to, to win the game tomorrow. And so get the job done. And yeah, and then it's about the judgment from others. If it's a good performance or a bad performance or a normal performance, um, we are in a project. We want uh, to go back and to win trophies. We win one trophy. We, we want to win more trophies. We uh, want to compete with the best. But yeah, it's we are still in a journey, and we are still. Um, yeah, in a journey, uh, but we think we are in the right direction. Uh, but it can all be, always be better because good is not good enough. Ian. Um, Eric, can I just check? Uh, Marcus Rashford's obviously been out first with injury and then illness. Is he now fully fit and ready to go? It looks like, but yesterday he returns in training and uh, he, he, he looks quite fit, but uh, we have to see today uh, what's the. Um, yeah, I say what is. The outcome from the training, how did he recover it? And, and then we will make our choices. James. Hi. Um, in terms of the project, what is the significance to you of getting into the Champions League in terms of then making the step forward next season, being able to attract players who maybe wouldn't want to come to a team that aren't in the Champions League? But the significance of it to you? Yeah. We want to compete with the best and then you have to be in the Champions League. So simple. Is it as simple as that, though? Yeah. If you want to get the best, obviously you got Casemiro last last summer, but if you want to be able to do that this summer, yeah. you need to be a Champions League club to do that. Yeah, we want to compete with the best, and then you have to be in Champions League. So then in in the Premier League, you have to qualify yourself to be under the first four. And that's not easy, because there are many competing for it, or uh, many think they um, should be in. And so, yeah, we are one of them. Melissa. Eric, lots of very strong reports from France about Manchester United and in particular your interest in Neymar. Can you comment on that? What do you think of him as a player? Well, we have news. We will tell you. <laughs>